Let's get started with the CDA dropshipping into Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you how we can do some dropshipping using CDA dropshipping with the Shopify totally for free. In my case, guys, I'm going to be using a link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description where you can get three months of Shopify or only just one freaking dollar, which I think is like really, really cheap. So once you have an account into Shopify, what you want to do, uh, first of all, is to have and set up your guide. As you can see, we have the setup guide, we have the ad products, and we have to set up your store. So what you want to do, first of all, is just to, you don't want to mess around here. First of all, let's try to focus it into our actual application of CGA dropshipping. So first of all, focus into the left part where you can see applications. You want to go into add apps and here's going to be appearing a lot of options. So what you want to do is to look out for the Shopify app store it's down in here. I'm going to click here and then as you can see, it's going to be popping up this new section where it's going to be appearing the app store of Shopify. So we're going to locate the search bar, which is actually here. And then I'm going to go for the CJ drop shipping or just type drop shipping. Hit into the enter mark and it's going to be appearing a lot of applications that you can choose to make drop shipping. So what you want to do is to look out for CJ drop shipping. If you don't find that here, you can always go back into the very first section and look out for the custom uh, application, which in my case is this one. So once you find this application, you can click here and you want to just make sure this one is free to install. So I'm going to hit into add application. After I add the application, it's going to be asking me to grant the access from CG Dropshipping into Shopify so I can implement all my elements here. So I'm going to go into install application in the upper side. And with that being said, then we're actually going to the next step, which is customizing our CJ dropshipping. I'm going to go ahead and look out for please uh, read and agree the uh, store utilization. I'm going to go into logged in and authorize. After you have that already been set up, your account is going to be appearing here, the authorization success. So it's going to be appearing this popping up. You don't want to focus in here and you want to delete this. So what we need to do now is to focus it into our products. So I'm going to head down into this actual shijidropshipping.com um, brand. So it's going to be appearing all different uh, tools or different items that I can add into my store. Since my store is already been added into Shopify, I just need to head down and just go ahead and open the product I want to sell. Let's say for example that I just want to focus into this silicone grip device finger exercise stretch finger. So we're going to go for add to the QE and I'm going to hit into list. So once I hit into list, it's going to be popping up this new section where I can edit my product before I can import that into my Shopify store. So as you can see here, are all the images, the SKU number, the CJ color, the price. So first of all, you want to locate your store. You want to ship from China, the product type. You want to add a new if you don't have anyone. Let's say, for example, I'm going to type for accessories. The collection It's of course, for my home page. And the vendor you want to create uh, yourself. Let's say for was store. Hit into confirmed both of them, and then as you can see, we have the price change. So if you don't know uh, how much do you want to charge for this specific price, you want to import the option that says recommended list and price. And here's going to appear into the actual price of your product. If you're okay with that um, issue, just go into list now. What I can strongly suggest to you is to go into auto listing if you want to create a new template. But in my case, I'm going to leave it like that and hit into edit before listing. Now, what I want to do is to change the title, change the tags, the description, images, variants, and shipments. Um, if I can be really honest with you, you just want to change the title. So, let's say, for example, I want to delete this because I think it's like really, really strong title to the concrete and hit into list now. The description, the images, and the variants are actually really great. So, you don't want to mess around there. And the shipment, of course, everything is now being set up correctly. So, I can try to suggest you to just move the name of your product. And after that, you want to go into list edit now. So, in my case, I just need to choose the product type which in my case, it's going to be once again, accessories. Now it says listing in progress. So now that this has been already set it up, what you want to do is to set up your product in order to stop making some drop shipping into CJ. 
I'm going to head down into my dashboard once again. I'm going to go into the home section. And once I'm here, you can see that there's one of eight tasks completed. So I'm going to look this and my product is going to be added automatically. So what you want to do now is to set up your store. So I'm going to click here, it says set up your store. And you can add your brand assets, customize themes, add pages, organize store invitation, create a professional logo. And of course, adding a custom domain if you wanted to. So in my case, I'm going to go into add brand assets. I'm going to click into the X mark. And here what you want to do is to import your logos as well as your squares, colors, secondary, cover images, slogan, and short descriptions. After you have successfully done that, you want to just go back into your home section. Now, as you can see, it's going to be asking us to customize a theme. So I'm going to click into customize theme. And since we have already filled all the information of how our store is going to be just really, really simple just to find a theme and all our stuff is going to be added into our actual store. So for example, this is how it's going to be looking. I'm going to hit into customize or look out for the one that fits for you the best. Once you have successfully found it somewhere, you're going to go into customize. And here what I just want to do is to just drag and drop all the actual elements that I wanted to find into my store. For example, here's the image banner. I'm going to hit into first images and I have a lot of images in here. I can choose this one. I can get into select. I have the image banner here. So this is like totally um, optional for you. If you want to remove it blocked or remove them more, you can do that. And after you successfully done that, you want to go into select. And of course, you want to save all of that. So I'm going to hit into saved. And if you go into your catalog, and you're going to make sure that your feature collection has the product that you have already been added. So what is left to be done here is to accept payment methods inside my store. So what I want to do now is to go into the exit section, look out for settings. And here, what I want to do is to choose the option that says payment. Here into payment, what I wanted to do is to choose a provider or to choose a support payment method so you can start receiving money. In my case, I can use, for example, Stripes because this is a preferred one, depending on the country you're currently choosing, of course. So uh, the third part is going to be helping us to receive the money and pay for all the stuff from the dropshipping. And we don't have to do absolutely anything. So as you can see, it says select account you'd like to connect to Shopify. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this one. And lastly, guys, if you want your store to become live, what you want to do after you have confirmed everything, you want to make sure that your account is not uh, protected with a passcode. So go back into your sale, sale channels, go into online store. And here, as you can see, it says your online store is password protected to remove the password being a plan. So that means that if someone wants to enter my actual website, they need to access with a passcode. If you don't want to pay for that, you unfortunately need to provide a passcode. In my case, I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five. So after that, I'm going to go into my actual online store and just I'm going to make sure that my store is actually working. So go into your online store, go into the view your store. And there you go, my store is now going to be enabled and here is my feature product. What is left to be done is to customize your stuff, is to add more products, is to check it out the shipping sections and all your orders should be appearing in your dashboard in here where it says orders. And of course, it should be appearing into the CJ drop shipping of your actual product as well. Here it says orders, it should be appearing in your orders so you can make the fulfillment of your orders. With that being said, guys, this is just a general video how you can get started with the CJ drop shipping. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video very useful. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.